Hey guys, welcome back. So the last tutorial finished up with us making some improvements to our health bar widget. Today we're going to work on making our cube enemy a little bit more interesting. Instead of having him just sit there waiting for us to bump into him like an idiot, we're going to give him some movement using Unreal's animation sequencer. So let's get started. First thing we're going to need to do is put in some of our cube enemies since I had deleted them. So I'm just going to put a guy here. Control C, Control V to duplicate, and I will move the second one down and over like this. Control C, Control V, just spread a few of these out like that. And then what I'm going to do is hold Control and select these three cube enemies that we have, and go right up here to Cinematics, and we're going to say Add Level Sequence. And this is going to ask us what we want to save it as. So I'm going to go into here. I'll just call this cube enemy animation. We'll save that. And now you see it opens up this little sequencer editor for us. And what we're going to want to do in here is hit this uh, track button and add our actors that we selected. Oh, sorry, it deselected the actors. Um, so let's go back here and hold control, get these three actors again. And now push the track button and you see up here it says add current selection. So we're going to add these three actors. You see enemy one, two, and three. And what we're going to want to do is add a uh, movement track for each one of them. So we'll come down here to tracks and we'll click transform and we'll give each one of them a transform. And if you guys remember a transform is made up of a location, rotation, and a scale. So each one of our enemies will have a transform that we're gonna play with. Um, make sure this is highlighted right here, this little X if you click on it you should see a little key. This will do some auto keyframing for you which will help us out when we're figuring out where we want our actors to go. So let me move this a little bit out of the way. Let me get a bird's eye view here. And the first thing we want to do is keyframe which is basically just going to hold the transform uh, location, rotation, and scale of each one of these actors at this particular spot. So we want to make sure that they all start at a certain spot. So if you just come here and you see this top one that just transform and just hit this little button right here in between the two arrows. And that gives you a keyframe which tells the computer to remember the location, rotation, and scale of each one of these individual actors. And then what we're going to want to do is slide out this little red bar out to maybe 100. And then we're going to want to move our enemies. And as you can see, as we move them, this little blue line comes out. And that shows you where their new location is going to be. And do you see how it's automatically keyframed, this little dot here? That's because we clicked this auto keyframe. So now the computer knows it's going to remember this spot at frame 100. So we're going to move each one of our cubes to a different location and you see the blue line comes out for each one of them and each one of them gets a new keyframe. And once we're done with that, we want to drag this out to 200. We're first going to need to extend this little red uh, bar here. That's the length of your animation. So we want to make sure it's out here at 200 so that it's an even 100 from the beginning to this new keyframe here and then we're going to move all of our enemies back. So from this keyframe back to 200, it's another 100 frames, and we want them all to go back to their original location. So now I'm going to grab this cube and move it back to where it started. Same with this cube, and same with this cube. Move you back. And once again, these have all been automatically keyframed at this new location. 
And once we're done with that, we can hit this Save button. We can X out of this. And we can now go into the actual sequencer actor here. You see this? This is the holding all the data for where we wanted all of these enemies to be moving. And you can see down here, there's a few options that we can um, play around with. And what I want to tick is this autoplay. And I want it to loop indefinitely. So we will save this. And now we'll hit play. And as you can see, we now have three enemies that are moving. So this will add a little bit more, um, something a little bit more interesting for us to do. And you guys can see that our actors are a little bit better than just blocks that stand there and don't do anything. So now you can already see that we'll be able to use this kind of um, functionality and you know sequencers and things like that to implement a little bit more gameplay for us where we might have to dodge around these um, enemies and say collect tokens or something. So hopefully you guys thought that was helpful and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, the next tutorial will probably add some actors that we can collect, um, score points with, things like that, and we'll have to dodge these enemies so we don't get hurt. Alright guys, I'll see you later.